leaders say they want to expand broadband in the state and the federal government they believe could help Alabama stay connected. CBS 42 State Capitol reporter Ryan Hall has the story. Broadband and fiber are the backbone of connection. Leaders hope one plan will bring better internet to rural Alabama and communities statewide. I'm just saying in a major way, we need help right now and we need broadband yesterday. <laughs> Chairman of the Sumter County Commission, Marcus Campbell, says connectivity can be complicated for some rural communities. That's because a lack of strong internet leads to a strain when it comes to health care and education. Different pockets of the county, my phone or my tablet or whatever mobile device, it might say SOS. And any time you deal with that, that's a major problem. That SOS is why the Department of Economic and Community Affairs is submitting their plan for broadband expansion to the federal government. It provides for fiber construction, extending broadband to over 100,000 locations across the state. That sets this state up for business development, for education, and for the future for the next 40 years that can't be matched anywhere. President of the Alabama Fiber Network, Terry Metz, says that will complete a years-long project to better connect the whole state. And you feel like you're connected to the whole rest of the world when you have that uh, ability to get on the internet the way we are today. Coleman Electric Cooperative has been making that ability possible by installing fiber in their community. CEO Tim Culpepper says Sprout, their internet company, hits home to people who aren't used to strong Wi-Fi. They installed a service to a home and uh, it was a uh, a mom with four kids at home and she was homeschooling them and she literally cried uh, when she got the service because before that they had no service whatsoever. The plan will be submitted on September 18th, but there is an open comment period until then. Governor Kay Ivey says expanding high speed Internet infrastructure has been one of her biggest priorities since taking office in Montgomery. Ryan Hall, CBS Sports News.